I think I'm done. I think am I right? I'm done. Yeah, that's that's it. I am done. Whew. I feel great. I feel wonderful right now. Look what I have made. Me, Mike. Look what I have made. I I built this. Today I am looking at something pretty cool, a watch building kit from DIY Watch Club. And this is a really cool company that I recently got connected with. And what they are is a brand that offers these kits that you use then to build a watch. They have a bunch of different kits to choose from. You can see on their site, they offer a bunch of different styles. And then what happens when you choose one is you get a kit that looks just like this here, and inside is a bunch of parts and tools that you use to put the watch together and assemble it by yourself. So this is the kit that I got specifically. It's the Pilot Watch with Date and Vintage Strap. I was kind of drawn, honestly, to the look of the watch. I love the vintage look of it, and I was really excited at the thought that I, who's never done something like this before, would have the chance to put something like this together. I've never done anything like this before. I have no idea how to build a watch. I'm the type of person that would somehow find a way to mess it up, even if it was presented to me in a very simple way, you know? I'm the type of person that would find a way to burn cereal, in other words. And I realized real quick, if I'm able to do this, well, pretty much anybody else could as well. I mean, if I can do it, anybody else can. And when I got actually into the kit, when I started looking at it, I realized something right away. You're basically starting with this kit after all the major hard stuff has been done. You're basically just assembling the watch, the movement or the internals of the watch, it's already assembled there. So on one hand, yes, it's a bit easier because all that crazy stuff that I really have no idea what I'm talking about is already done. But on the other hand, in looking at the kit and looking at the tools and the, the parts, it's not just this, you know, put this here, put this here, snap it around, you're done, good to go type thing. They There are several steps involved. Luckily though, they do have detailed instructions complete with videos, really needed the videos, on their site to show you how to do each step, which is really helpful. They also set you up nicely, I think, with all the tools. You have your little pillow, got your little pillow here. You got a magnifying lens here for the small parts, and then you have the tweezers, the setting tools to get everything installed and looking perfect. All in all too, I'd say this took me about 30 to 45 minutes to do the very first time, and that was because I was reading every step very thoroughly and watching the videos and then doing the step. If I were to do it again, I think I could do it in a lot less time, honestly. But even so, I think it was a lot of fun to do. I mean, it was a bit relaxing, honestly, to just sit here and work on this watch. I mean, it wasn't something I've ever done before once again. And as it started coming together and things just started clicking and working, I got more and more excited. It was a good amount of fun to actually put this thing together. I think I'm done. I think, am I right? I'm done? Yeah, that's, that's it. I am done. Whew. I feel great. I feel wonderful right now. Look what I have made. Me, Mike, look what I have made. I, I built this. I mean, it all feels so limitless right now. I mean, everything feels like the possibilities. The possibilities I'm now seeing within myself they all feel so, so uh, limit. Guys, hold on. Let me, can we stop this right quick? This thing is spinning like it's possessed. Is it supposed to do that? I don't think I, I think, did I miss did I miss a step? Just give me, just give me a second. Let me take this case. Let me just fix this. Yep, we're good. Fixed it. Got it. Just, you know, had to tweak something real quick there. But we're good again. Look at that. I mean, I'm I'm super stoked about this, obviously. So this is freaking awesome. I'm I'm really excited that I got to go, that I got to do this. I want to give you guys a close up. I gave you a little close up because I'm really excited about this. I'm sure some of you are not as excited about it as I am, of course. But maybe you possibly can be. Let me give you a close up. This is the result of my watch kit, the Pilot Watch with Vintage Strap. It features a Miota 8215 movement inside a stainless steel 40 millimeter case. The face, which was what ultimately drew me to this watch, has a really nice classic look to it and it sits underneath sapphire crystal. The hour, minute, and second hand, which I'm proud to say I installed myself, are all luminous dials and it features a really nice brown leather strap. Overall, for me, this was a lot of fun. Once again, I think I've said it three or four times. It was a lot of fun, and it was. I really hope I get to do more of these, really, because, again, it was it was a lot of fun to watch the whole thing come together, go through the steps, and actually see it starting to form and, and look like a watch. It was a lot of fun for me to do that, and it really gave me some insight into 
how things work like this and what really goes into it. I feel like some of you, you know, actual watch expert type people or people that are big fans of watches are probably going to say that the hard part was done for me being as the movement came pre-assembled and ultimately that's right. That is, that is correct. But I'm also not even sure I'd want to attempt to go that far into it. Honestly, I, I looked up what goes into that just out of curiosity and I'm not sure that would be super fun. I mean, there's a lot of tiny parts and it's, it seems like a very complicated process, you know, but, but I get that point of view for sure that the hard part has been done for me. So that, that, that's also very true. I want to mention for all the devoted watch guys out there too, that they offer models on their site with the beloved Seiko movements as well. So they're not all the same parts and things that I got here today. There's actually a lot of different variations and upgrades that you can get with your kit. So I encourage you to check out the site and kind of browse through the different listings but once again i was really happy with the results of my kit i think this would also make an incredible gift i mean we're coming up on the gift giving season really quick here and these would make incredible gifts i would be 100 percent stoked if someone got me one of these as a gift but as always, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check out DIY Watch Club, a link will be in the description for you to check out. I highly encourage you to check them out. This was a, a lot of fun for me. This is one of those videos I don't get to do very often, so I really enjoyed myself on this one. If you enjoyed what you saw here too, make sure you do the big three for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. That is a huge deal. Make sure you do that for me. It's a big help. I really appreciate that. That's it though for today. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.